Hi guys, welcome back to the Revive Stronger channel. I am your host as always, Steve Hall. We are going to go over the takeaway points from Dr. Fundero and Gut Health Part 2. So let's get straight into it. Water is very important for gut health, staying hydrated. A good rule of thumb is to consume one milliliter of liquid per calorie that you are consuming. Or to further kind of help with hydration, on top of that, for every hour that you're performing exercise, consume two to three cups of ideally water or a beverage to help with your hydration. This is gonna aid your gut health. Your stool, i.e. your poo, is a really good indicator of how your gut health is. If you're going to the toilet and it's comfortable, it's firm and smooth and like it's, it's a good one, then you're probably in a good place. However, if there's something not quite right, maybe it's a little bit too firm or a little bit too soft, something might be a bit off and it might be a case of just assessing your diet. Takeaway point number three is that if something does seem a bit off, your first port of call is to look at FODMAPs and try removing these so that you can kind of clear things up. These are foods that just traditionally do irritate the gut and it's better off to try removing some of these things and then reincorporating them than going down the route of just trying to have every single supplement because they may not well help. Um, so definitely go down the route of FODMAPs before you reach out for supplementation. Takeaway point number four is sorry a bit gross, but if you are having chronic diarrhea, so most days you've got runny poo, then you probably want to go and see your doctor because this could be not only a problem for yourself, it could eventually be a problem for others because you may well be holding on to um, some form of disease or bacteria that's just not helpful. Uh, so definitely go and see your doctor if that is the case for you. Takeaway point number five is that currently evidence does not support the ideology that fasting is going to rebuild your gut microbiome. This isn't to say that it won't and that it can't be beneficial, but right now there is not the evidence to support that statement. So it's important to be skeptical when you hear claims like this. Our favorite quote from today's podcast is that if your stool is comfortable, it was a smooth passage and you've got no problems there, you're probably in a really good place. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed these takeaway points. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you wanna learn more about gut health, remember, Look for all the episodes with Gabrielle Fondero. And as always, give us a like, give us a comment, share this around, and we'll catch you soon. Revive Stronger.